Welcome back to Broken Sword 2, The Smoking Mirror, we're playing as Nico, and as you can see, Rubier is no more, he is deceased, he's perished at the hands of the evil Karazak, and he's now nothing more than a corpse holding a very valuable item. In our last part, we watched uh, Karazak kill Rubier, and um, he told Rubier that it was all his plan to have him, you know, go on to drugs, have his wife killed, blah blah blah, watch the other part, very important scene. We also played as George, we um, were looking for Ketch's treasure in the Caribbean, but now we're about to take Francis Drake's Jaguar Stone, so let's take it. But first, let's, let's examine Oubier. Oubier lay sprawled across the table. You feeling okay, man? There were no signs of life, but I checked that Ubiye really was beyond help. Oh, I like you. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's been shot, man. Let's, shall we take it? Let's take we it. We were going to need the stone to thwart Karzak. I knew Ubiye would have approved. Karzak's a bastard. It was the Jaguar stone, all right. Dang nabbit! Get off me, you son of a gun! <laughs> Get off, man! Oh, take this! <laughs> Ooh, ow! Run, Nico! Run, Nico! Wow! Holy crap! What in the world? I was about to make good my escape when. Who the hell are you? Uh, I can explain everything. Don't bother. Okay... Ah, it looks like a film set. It's a film set. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were making a movie. So, who are you? Stobart, George Stobart. Uh, two B's and two T's. It's okay, Mr. Hawks, he wasn't in the shot. Hawks? This had to be Carlton Hawks, the newest enfant terrible of Tinseltown. I'd read about him. Mailroom boy makes good. Nice to know it was still possible to get to be a director armed with only an encyclopedic knowledge of postal charges. Stay out of the way, surfer boy. I'll deal with you later. Surfer boy? Okay, guys, so we're in a film set. Uh, let's uh, talk to Mr. Hawks, the director. What's the name of the movie? Are you trying to be funny? No! It's Treasure Island. The only book I ever read twice. I don't recall any girls in Treasure Island. Gotta think box office. People like that kind of thing. What other changes have you made to the story? Just a few minor details. You haven't written out Long John Silver. Are you questioning my integrity as an artist? Of course Silver's still in it. We've even hung on to Captain Flint. His parrot. His trained attack falcon. Why do you think blind pews blind? <laughs> Did you say you've changed the ending of the story? That's right. Do they find the treasure? Yeah, but that comes later, after they've escaped the volcanic eruption. A volcano? Sure. Krakatoa. All the millions spent on a movie, and nobody thinks to buy an atlas. <laughs> Who's playing Jim Hawkins? Hi, Q. McEwen. Oh, don't tell me you've never heard of it. I don't go to the movies too often. Jeez. Haiku is only the hottest teen star in Hollywood. That's why we're on such a tight schedule. Gotta film the close-ups before he hits puberty. Alright, cool. So we're learning about the actors on the set as well. Let's learn more about the actress. Who's the leading lady? Don't you recognize her? That's Sharon Kowalski. Oh, right. I'd never heard of her. You know what the locals call this place, don't you? No, but I guess you're gonna tell me. Zombie Island. Zombies? A crazed gleam came into his eye. Get me the writers! Get me makeup! I want zombie pirates in this movie by the end of today! Okay, so we just changed the film. 
let's talk to Sharon. Hey there, I'm George Stobart. Well, hi, Hampton. You're cute. I wish it was you playing the lead male instead of that kid. I can't act, ma'am. So what? I bet you can kid. I couldn't believe I was having this conversation with a real movie star. Oh, we got a few topics. What's it like sharing the spotlight with an actor who's young enough to be your son? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you think of Hawk's treatment of Treasure Island? It's okay, I guess. I never saw the original. It's a book. One of my favorites. Really? The novelization's out already? What part are you playing? Pirate Bath, the ruthless and passionate Lady Buccaneer. It's a great part. I get to kiss a lot, and I kick ass. Like the boot. What do you think of these? Ew, they're awful. You have no idea how much you've just gone up in my estimation. Take a look at this ancient Mayan artifact. That's just a hunk of stone with a picture scratched on it. In a way, I guess. You don't happen to have seen anything similar, have you? No. I found this reed in the swamp on the other side of the island. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I used it to shoot a poison dart at a wild boar. It was a real-life drama, not just a scene from a movie. Right. She was having trouble with the whole real-life-is-not-a-movie concept. Okay, she's done. Just like most actresses, I think. Let's talk to boy haiku. Hi there, George Stobart. Uh-huh, yeah. Haiku McEwen. You're playing Jim Hawkins, right? Jimbo. I had Mr. Hawks change his name. Jimbo Hawkins, right. Okay, so it's clear that um, this film is kind of uh, sabotaging the uh, original book from all the changes and stuff we've already heard of. Let's talk about himself. Is your name really Haiku? Yeah. It was my mom's idea, okay? When I was born, I was so small and perfectly formed, I reminded her of a Japanese poem. Well, I guess it could have been worse. She could have called you Limerick. That's my middle name. Did you always want to be an actor? I don't think of what I do as acting, man. You're not alone. It's more like I'm the voice of my generation. What I'm saying, I'm saying for the kids on the street. Which is what? I'm crap, I'm going nowhere? Huh? What are you saying, man? Stobart, get out of shot. Positions, everybody. I'll get a flip chart and explain it to you later, Haiku. All right, they're going to film something, guys. Haiku, baby, are you ready? Okay, man. Uh, which scene is this? You've been captured by Silver's accomplice, Pirate Babs, who's fallen in love with you. That whirring sound you can hear? It's Robert Louis Stevenson spinning in his grave. Okay, people. Top of page 76, Sharon. What about my big feet? It's been cut. Everybody ready? Up to speed. Quiet on the set. Okay, let's make magic. Oh, please. And action! Why don't you forget that dumb old squire and his bunch of merry men? Can't you see we were made for each other? I know, but Squire Trelawney saved my life, Captain Babs. Why, if it hadn't have been for him, that giant octopus would have made mincemeat out of me. But right now he thinks you're a traitor. He's locked you out of the stockade, Jimbo. That 20-foot high wall with spikes might have kept out Silver's man, but it ain't gonna stop me. Oh, Jimbo. And cut! Good heavy breathing, Sharon. Natch, I'm a pro. Did you get the heavy breathing, Flash? Did I have a boss? We should have made this movie in 3D. Haiku, you are great. We're setting up for the stunt now, so get a bite to eat.
Okay. Savage, on set, damn it. Okay, this is a stunt double. With different colored hair, but it doesn't matter. Alright guys, um, I think I'm out of time, so we'll see Savage perform his stunt in the next part. See you guys soon. Farewell.